The Q6 e-tron is an important car for many reasons, but mainly because it's the first car to get all the mechanical and electrical bits that will underpin lots of posh Audis and Porsches in the future. So it needs to be really, really good. However, if you're not an engineer or accountant for Volkswagen Group, you may not be too fussed about the new premium platform electric or PPE architecture, but you may want to know if you can fit your dog in the boot and whether it'll have the range to cover your longer journeys. Well, you won't be disappointed. As the Q6 name suggests, this posh new SUV is smaller on the outside than a Q8 e-tron, but bigger than the Q4 and measures just under 4.8 meters long and 2.2 meters wide including mirrors, and it gets a wheelbase of 2.9 mellers. Basically, at that size and price, it's got plenty of competition from slightly smaller alternatives like the BMW iX3 and Tesla Model Y through to slightly bigger rivals like the Mercedes EQ ESUV BMW iX and Kia EV9. As for styling, well it's not going to be as attention-grabbing as the EQE or the iX but that may be in its favor for many buyers. It's fair to say that it's a predictable but inoffensive evolution of Audi's tried and tested styling. The new rear lights are cool though. This new LED technology allows you to choose one of six different light signatures and they'll warn other road users of imminent heavy braking or they'll even signal to an approaching cyclist if a door is being opened. Interior the interior of the Q6 showcases a new dash design and screen setup that will be appearing in various forms on future models. It's said to be human-centric, so the dash seems to flow around the driver and is accented by a light that runs all the way across the doors and dash. The new Audi MMI panoramic display and the passenger screen will be the first things to grab your attention though. The 11.9-inch driver's readout and 14.5-inch curved touchscreen create what Audi calls a new digital stage that also features new OLED screen technology for super bright color and graphics definition. You even get a screen to yourself if you're the front passenger, which allows you to sort the nav out, play games, stream films and more, and there's also an active privacy mode, which makes sure that the passenger's screen doesn't distract the driver boot space. This is pretty impressive on the Q6, which gets 526 liters of boot space and a further 64 liters up front in the frunk. That's less than the Model Y and Skoda Enyaq, but it's a bit more than you get in the iX3 or Mercedes EQE SUV. You'll have to look at much bigger rivals like the Kia EV9 if you need more space than that. And the Q6 isn't set to have a seven-seat option like the Kia either. Battery and charging. The Audi Q6 e-tron gets a new lithium-ion battery with 100 kWh total capacity or 94.9 kWh usable, which is good for a WLTP combined range of up to 381 miles for the dual motor Q6 Quattro models that will start the range off in the UK. More efficient single motor models with rear wheel drive and a bit less power will follow late in the year and seem very likely to eke that range up to over 400 miles. That's not groundbreaking, but it is very decent. And Audi claims that the Q6 e-tron is some 30% more efficient than its other electric models thanks to aerodynamic fettling, weight-saving gains made by using new, smaller electric motors, and more efficient brake recuperation that now harvests more energy every time you brake. So, It'll be interesting to see how the Q6 stacks up for real-world efficiency when we try it out properly on the road. Verdict, the Audi Q6 e-tron might not look terribly dramatic, but the tech that it offers, inside, outside, and underneath the skin, is really impressive and was only available on six-figure Exotica until recently. We also liked the way it drove when we had a go in an early prototype, so if the efficiency claims turn out to pay off in the real world, Audi's onto a winner. <laughs>